Ako po si Macarena Piliin ng may pinyahan dito sa Bugarin ng membro ng First Macrobank. The Bugarin pineapple is carving its place in the market as the tastiest among all Philippine pineapples. And the pineapples from the farm of Macrina Piliin in Bugarin, Pililia Rizal, are regarded as the best. In fact, it was awarded by the Department of Agriculture as the best pineapple in the country. Their product is now part of the One Town, One Product project of the DTI. We Magbihis daw ng ano, siya daw inanalo doon sa ano, sa may doon sa San Bayapasay. Macrina Piliin started out with a small karindirya or roadside eatery along the highway in Bugarin, Pililia Rizal. She and her husband did what they can for their family. Her husband tried kaingin and planted vegetables. But their earnings were not enough. Nako, sumarayin siya pinakali. Wala kasi guraduhan talaga anak ang aming kita talaga. Adi nagdaan pala ng kami, eh, nagtinda ng gulay. Ang tatay mo nagtinda sa antipuro, ako naman sa tanay. Kami nga eh, wala nga lagi kami ng mga buhay. Until finally, they got into planting pineapples. Kaya sabi nga nito, magtanim na lamang. Magtanim na lamang. Kasi unang-una tanim ng tatay kasi, isang libo kong puno lang. Ang lalaki naman ang bunga. Eh, awa naman nandiyo siya lalaki. Eh, di ngayon sabi naman ng tatay, eh, gusto ko sana magtanim ng marami, kaya lang wala naman tayong pangbayad. Sabi ko, sige, paglun puli, bibigyan kita. Macrina already took a loan before with first macro bank amounting to 8,000 pesos that she used for her karindirya. Their pineapple endeavor is becoming lucrative, so she decided to divert her next loans to the farm. Her current loan is 100,000 pesos that was used to buy fertilizer and pay for other farm expenses. The Piliin farm is located at the bottom slopes of the Sierra Madre mountain range in Rizal. It takes a two-hour trip from Manila and a kilometer by foot to reach the four-hectare pineapple farm. The Piliins do not own the whole four hectares though. Some of it are leased on a per-tree pay basis. The farm's previous earnings amounted to 200,000 pesos, but because of the recent expansion, they now expect a profit of 400,000 pesos after the harvest. Macarina's life today is a far cry from before. She was able to build and extend her house and even bought a small apartment building that she rents out. Nako, ay wala nga kami talagang ano, hindi na malalaman kung saan kami kukuha ng ganyang ano namin nang hanap buhay no tiyagaan lang eh yun na ano, talagang gapang talaga kaya ngayon inang ako pinaalaala dito sa mga kabataan ng through all these hardships Macrina Piliin kept a smile on her face never afraid of challenges she continues to work hard for the future and with first macro back at her side the future tastes sweet as sweet as the bugarin pineapples they harvest. <music> <music>